Chapter 17 Passive Filters The objectives of this chapter are to create multiple schematics in one project, to demonstrate series and parallel circuits, and to combine waveforms from different schematics. A filter is a frequency selective circuit that is specifically designed to pass or block certain ranges of frequencies. If the filter is constructed of passive elements, R's, C's, and L's, it is called a passive filter. Passive filters generally fall into four categories. Low pass, high pass, band pass, and band stop filters. Filter characteristics are best revealed in the frequency domain. As such, the following terms are often used as a shorthand way of describing the major properties of filters. Break frequency, roll off, center frequency, and bandwidth. Break frequency is the frequency at which the amplitude drops by 3 dB, or 70.7%. Roll off is the rate at which the ampli amplitude drops in dB per decade. The center frequency is the frequency at which the amplitude is at a peak or a trough. And bandwidth is the range of frequencies that fall between the peak and negative 3 dB levels. Because of their nature, filters are most often analyzed in the frequency domain. However, a filter also has a time-based response to a pulse input as well. In the last chapter, we learned how to calculate break frequency and rise time for a simple RC series circuit. These are the two equations that were used. In the first circuit of this chapter, we're going to design a low pass filter. That is what you see here with the R and C combination in series. We're going to go ahead and run an AC sweep on it with start frequency of 100, end frequency of 100K, and points per decade is 100. And we're just going to run it to show the low pass frequencies allowing through the circuit. So we use the combination of V in and V out and see the low frequencies up to approximately 5 kilohertz go through and the rest subside and don't go through our low pass filter. This is a pretty standard filter that only allows low frequencies to go through. As you can see through the cursors, you can gauge the frequencies along with the voltage that it corresponds to. Now we're going to show the low pass, but in the bode pot plot form, finding the break frequency and the roll-off frequency. To do this, we set the traces to dB format with VVN and the dB format of VV out to determine the break frequency and the roll-off frequency. We can see the break point pretty clearly as it's 70% of the red line pretty much and the roll off is approximately 19.8 thereabouts or 20 that is at the bottom end towards the 100 kilohertz point on this graph and this uses a logarithmic y-axis to show the frequency 
breaks and roll off points. The next circuit in this chapter is a bandpass circuit. This is a combination of a capacitor, an inductor, and a resistor in series. We're using a sine wave source and we'll go ahead and edit the simulation profile. We're going to use a sweep from 1 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz with again 100 points per decade format with decade logarithm and we're going to run that circuit and we're going to see a point in this circuit this is this will show you 70 percent on either side gets rejected and the 30 percent on either side gets accepted for this bandpass circuit so we'll go ahead and select the db format again a vv in and vv out and as you can see we have our peak so 30 percent of that peak gets through approximately where the cursors are and the rest is rejected by the circuit these are used to specifically allow only a few frequencies through and reject all the noise that's outside of those frequencies and lastly this last circuit will be able to demonstrate how to show the rise time of this filter this is a pretty standard low pass filter combination but we're just going to demonstrate the rise time for it so we'll set it to run time on a time domain of two milliseconds with a step size of two microseconds and go ahead and run that circuit and we'll just select the trace VV out you can also type these traces in instead of finding them on the list and you'll be able to see the rise time from one millisecond to approximately 1.75 milliseconds or thereabouts to go from zero to one volt is the rise time for this circuit using the cursors you can measure this uh, from 10 percent to 90 percent is your rise time value and this concludes chapter 17 passive filters